And welcome to Terre Haute, Indiana for the Indiana Track and Field and Cross Country Hall of Fame inductees for 2024. I'm alongside uh, Carrie Zimmerman. And Carrie, a uh, very good athlete from Corden Central. And uh, we're going to ask you a couple questions, sure. just give it, give an idea of what's going on. What kind of things uh, were you involved in in your because of your nomination here to the Indiana Track and Field and Cross Country Hall of Fame? Well, I think mostly that would be from uh, – well, it's a good question because I asked Marshall Goss whenever he <laughs> he uh, they give me the letter. I said, "What well, am I am I going in on the athletic part of it, or am I going in on the coaching part of it?" You know, but the the reality is you couldn't have one without the other. And so, but uh, but no, I had a, a good high school career. You know, Midwest Meet of Champions and all that kind of stuff. But then went to IU and and that's where I really learned a lot and honed in on techniques and stuff, which helped me in my coaching career over the years also. And so, but uh, I won a couple of Big Ten uh, long jump title titles and then that NCAA 83 decathlon championship. Well, I know uh, coming from a small town, you had to go into a much larger competition when you hit the, the Big Ten. Mm -hmm. um, what, what prepared you from your small school background to really compete well uh, in the Big Ten? So when I, was a, when I was a freshman at IU, we had, there was four other long jumpers and high jumpers. I was a high jumper, long jumper combination, but there was four of those guys that I trained with. They were all seniors, every one of them. Robert Cannon was, a, you know, he was a, uh, an Olympian, I think, in 88, and on the triple jump, and also Wayne Pate, who was the national, I think, assistant coach, college NCAA coach of the year one year. And so I had some really good teachers there, and I didn't talk much. I listened a lot, you know, to those guys, and, and so they kind of helped me out a bunch to get off to a really, really good start. But, yeah, adapting to that from Corden, you know, I mean, there again, though, I, you know, I like, to, I like to mix it up and I like to compete, so it didn't matter if it was, you know, me and two people in the, in the Harrison County County meet or, you know, we were in the Olympic trials. Either one, it was okay to me. You said you had the opportunity to go back home, and mm -hmm. not only are you coaching, but you're running the family business, which is really a, a neat thing. When I, when I read up a little bit about, yeah. about what's going on, yeah. arts and all kinds of things with glass, yeah. can you give a little bit of how track has impacted your family business and how you run that? So I'll tell you a neat thing that I think about that is, is so we're, we, we're glass blowers. I'm a, I'm a fourth generation glass blower in this country. And so anyway, but most glass blowers, they they specialize in one or two things, you know, and that's it. Maybe may bowls, might be vases, whatever it is. But for us, we do over 100 different items. So the whole, where I went into the decathlon kind of thing, where we, where you, you know, went through several events, that was kind of, that related right to the glass factor for me. So, but as far as, uh, you know, as the track part of it, you know, I mean, the same things comes with working glass, how we do it, working hot glass. It's the discipline and the procedure and everything that it takes, you know, to, to get to the final product. No different than how I coached and no different than how I trained. Well, you talked about coaching as well. And when you're coaching those athletes, uh, do they have an idea of, of the background that you've had? And, and do you use that in your coaching as well? So Corden, Corden has about, in the city limits, about 3,200 people. And then outside, you may add another, you know, maybe 1,200 or so, and not that many back when I was there. So to answer your question, everybody knows. <laughs> and so it's hard to get past that, you know, but it's, but it's a fun topic. You know, I like talking about it. And, you know, and I instantly got, you know, some respect from the kids because of it. But there again, you know, they, 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 they worked really hard over the years and listened. And it was a, it was a big part of, of my, uh, my whole career was, was being that. I, I just really enjoyed it. Well, you can tell uh, when you talk about your track, uh, the things that happened to you when you were running track, mm -hmm. it's all about hard work and dedication. And how has that trans transpired into your life after your uh, athletic and, and now even coaching? What has track meant to you? So, so my whole tonight at the dinner, my whole uh, my three to five minute speech I'm supposed to give is, deals directly to that. Uh, but it's a, it's a big part how the the coaches uh, at IU shaped my career, and not just that part, but me as an individual played a big part in how I do the business and being a good citizen down in Corden and the coaching and everything I did. Kerry Zimmerman. Again, another inductee here at the Indiana Track and Field and Cross Country Hall of Fame.